they turn me up a little. Yeah. Hey, let me get a little more that they know who we at, man. Check the ratings. We got them up through the ceiling like elevators. House of Vets in the building. Go going crazy. This shit was made for television. Pass the remote, baby. Not going. Subscribe. Comment. Go live. Tell a, a friend to go and tell a friend. Make sure you tap in. Cause we at it again. It's all entertainment. Cause we stay entertaining. Yeah, we stay entertaining. Yeah, hey, we stay entertaining. Hey, turn me up a little. Yeah. Hey, let me get a little more. That they know who we at, man. Check the ratings. We got them up through the ceiling like elevators. House of Vets in the building. Go going crazy. This shit was made for television. Pass the remote, baby. Uh, so we're actually doing a group cosplay. Uh, we're currently trying to find everybody. Uh, we've been on a Star Wars binge for the past few months. We watched. Uh, Pretty much all of them except for the last one, uh, all of the Clone Wars and all that stuff. Um, yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Do you come to um... Comic Con a lot? This will be so. This is my third year. Uh, my first was pre-COVID, and we went uh, last year as well. Oh, okay. This is our first year. Okay. Well, welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. It's your boy Brad from Color World. Welcome back to New York Comic Con. Welcome, welcome. So, Color World was started when my wife wrote a book series. I told her that it was my dream to make her famous. I quit my job, I sold the house, and that was eight years ago. Since then, we've met, we have six kids. They all work with us in the industry. We got two booths at New York Comic Con. Um, it's been insane. We had Jeremy Lee start to read our book series, and then I jumped into the anime, the pool. I started watching everything that Jeremy was in. Fell in love with anime. Actually got busted at a convention. And then ended up with an officially licensed fairy tale merchandise. My Hero Academia, Seven Deadly Sins. We started doing all these deals. Next thing you know, we're providing pops and metal for the actors. And life just kind of went crazy from there. So I appreciate everybody joining us. It's our last year at conventions. So whatever you do, Find us on social media at Color World Live, at Color World Books. Follow and then come visit us in Iowa. We're opening up a restaurant next year and we'll see you guys on the banks of the Mississippi. And just the yeah. Do you um, come to Comic Con a lot? Um, yeah, I came last year, but I didn't come just this year. Just okay. my second year. Yeah. Okay. yeah. How Thank many you so years much. Are you? This is our first year. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, yeah. so we're trying to like yeah. take a picture with everybody. There's a lot of stuff around. It's very
what inspired the outfit? Well, it's from the um, the comic when he was introduced to the Fantastic Four. So this is the outfit that they got for him when he was hanging around with them, the Future Foundation. That's what they call themselves. So that's what the suit is about. And I just love the black and white about it. It's just so simplistic and really cool. It stands out from what everybody else got on. Absolutely, yeah. I wanted Lord Zed to look very comfortable. Uh, this is his Sunday outfit. Do you come here a lot? Do you come here? Uh, for uh, second time. Second time. First time dressing up this much. Brother and sister got me these Reeboks. Uh, oh wow. Yeah, which are Lord Zed themed. <laughs> Hey y'all, hey. So we just realized that we're on the other side of this building. This building okay. is huge. Yeah, the building. Look y'all. The entrance is way over there. Yeah, so the show floor and everything else where we was before is it's on awesome. that side.
about the character in terms of cosplay yeah. is that building something like that is challenging. Yeah. You know? Because you can see I think every other Gambit cosplayer I've seen here and every time I come to Comic Con, they are all store bought costumes yeah. or just like there was one that came through here. He didn't even have on the muscle thing, it was just a shirt, you know. And when I do it, I wanna do it like screen accurate, book accurate, I want it to look as accurate as possible. So I just wanna build everything. But for this, you know, it wasn't that he's necessarily my favorite character, it's just doing that I felt like was a challenge. Thank you so much. I just happened to be walking through a parking lot and I was thinking about whether I was going to wear it at Comic Con. Yeah. And I wanted to do like traditional Gambit, which I tried and failed, but you know, that's a different story. <laughs> but I was thinking, what could I do that I've never seen before that would be interesting? Like, a, like what if Gambit was a cowboy? Yeah. You know, so I'm like, what would he look like with a bolo tie and a belt? So like, when I looked it up, I see they have the bolo tie that has an X on it. Yeah. And a belt buckle that has an X on it. I got the revolver. And then I got okay. actual cowboy boots. And so I painted them silver. And I, uh -huh. I got, Gloves and cut them, but this is just, the code is the same. Yeah. But that was my inspiration. I was like, what would he look like if he was a cowboy? Yeah. And that was that. That's a PVC. But that's play. cool. That stands out. It's different. Yeah.
got I kind of assembled this through a few different uh, things. Um, kind of got it on the internet, found a bunch of pieces, put it all together. I know that's right. It works. Jimmy, one thing is just say NWO for life. NWO for life. inspired your outfit today? Um, well, I've really always liked X-Men and I had my hair dyed like this for a while. So it kind of just came together a little last minute, but it's cool. Okay. How long have you been coming to Comic-Con? Um, this is actually my first time. Oh, wow. But I went to Anime NYC last year, so I decided to go to Comic-Con this year instead. Okay, okay. Do you come to Comic-Con a lot or no? Uh, no, but I want two more in the future. Okay. It's my first time, so. Yeah, so you just said that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. I've been probably... Okay, tell them. Do you come to Comic Con a lot? Yes, I do. This is my first New York Comic Con, though. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, how, have you been to any, any runway shows? No, but I could. Okay. I was on the red carpet premiere of Hocus Pocus, too, though. Oh, that's so fun. I met Bette Midler and Kathleen Jean and Sarah Jessica Parker, so that was something. Are you enjoying yourself? I am having the best time ever. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Otherwise known as Todd GM, and this, this is Zach. I play Gold and is out of our Ascension D&D campaign. Yeah, we are from Totally Online Gaming Group. We are an online group of friends uh, that uh, play together TTRPGs, D&D, &D, other kinds of games like that, and we live stream it on our Twitch and YouTube channels. So come watch us. We're kind of like Critical Role, but uh, we're really we're, bad. We're, yeah. we're really bad. Uh, but you'll enjoy us nonetheless. So come check us out. We've got two campaigns right now, D&D 5th Edition live streams. We'd love for you to join us, say hi in chat. And uh, you know what? Perhaps you'll find your new favorite show. Yeah, set us topics for puns. We're really good at that. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. No problem. We had an amazing time, time at Comic Con, Con so New York, York. Yes, okay. as you guys can see, because we also went live. So you know what to do, guys. Hit the buttons, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you like our channel, join the membership. Okay, we hope you like this video. And we hope you love the videos. See you guys later. Bye. Tell a friend, make sure you tap in.